Um, my name is Sam Wang. I uh, originally came from Vietnam. I was born in Vietnam. And uh, since I was born in uh, Vietnam, I always uh, live in a war zone. I uh, work on a farm. And even I, at my young age, I was like 10, 11 years old. Every day I had to walk 90 minutes to the farm. So since you was born, uh, you understand things. You, you always hear gunfire every day, every night. You see helicopter, jet fighters all the time. The bomb had dropped in my house, and, and luckily the bomb didn't explode. Yeah. We look at up the roof, and there's a big, big uh, hole uh, in the roof. So North uh, Viet Cong start getting closer and closer, you know, to Saigon. And then we walk. We walk, all the people you know, walk and run everywhere. We walk because the uh, Saigon Bridge. So all bomb, a lot of bomb explode close by. Everybody crying, running, asking for where's my mom and where's my dad, where's my sister. Everybody get lost. So people, you can see people dying next to you, but uh, you just couldn't have anything. You just run, you just run for your life and try, try to. Try to protect yourself if you don't get killed, if you're lucky. My father was a uh, joint American Army, and then 1968, my father got killed by Viet Cong. I was four years old, and uh, 1979, I was 16 years old, and I left Vietnam, I left my parents. And uh, when I was uh, trying try to escape uh, uh, from Vietnam, all the police and uh, after me, and uh, but uh, I able to run free and get on the boat. I get to Thailand. I uh, stay in Thailand for like 18 months. Uh, we uh, have a small wooden boat, and uh, which is uh, no light jackets, they offer capacity, and uh, a lot of time the boat took on water. We all bail water by hand, so. Uh, Usually, like two days, two nights, you get to Thailand, but uh, it took us like eight nights, seven days, and uh, we ran out of food, and we have no food. Everybody thought we uh, all thought we died, so uh, luckily we didn't. God saved us. Thanks, God. <laughs> and the camp, it was like a terrible, just like the camp uh, is right on the, uh, the water line. You have to chop woods and bamboo trees to build your own own camp to stay in, rats start coming in, uh, so the camp uh, like uh, give announcement, whoever kill one rat and you get one dollar time and money, so they call one back. So uh, overnight we didn't sleep, every night we just go uh, using uh, air, that's true. Uh, every night we uh, usually get like uh, 20, 30 rats a night, so we get 30 time and that. 19, the end 1980. I migrate, came to North Carolina, and I lived in North Carolina for one year before I moved to Boston. And I moved to Boston uh, 1974, uh, 84, excuse me, 1984. I start the job at uh, Boston Harbor Cruises, and uh, Boston Harbor Cruises never seen me before, the grandfather. When I got hired, so I slept on his boat. I worked too many hours. So one morning he came in, he saw me on his boat, and then uh, he asked me what you were doing here. I said, I work here. He didn't believe me. And that time I didn't speak much English. So uh, he called a cop on me. So the grandchildren came out and uh, said, uh, No, this is Sang. He worked here two weeks ago. The grandfather named Matthew J. Hughes. So he asked me, Sam, uh, after lunch, come to see me. He took me to downtown Boston and bought me a sleeping bag. So he uh, told me, uh, from now on, you can sleep on the boat. <laughs> so uh, ever since, I still have a sleeping bag right now. And uh, three years later, Matty Hughes saw me a good work. He uh, liked me, and then he sent me to school, get my captain license. Uh, all my family is out here now. Uh, we all did good. All my sister, brother, we all did good and well here. So. Thanks, God. <laughs> like that, say, I see.